My name is Christian Barth. I am key account manager at Rotenberger and take care of the refrigeration and air conditioning sector. Today, I will show you how to properly evacuate an air conditioning system with the Row AirVac R32 2.0 CL. In addition to the Row AirVac, you also need the Row Cool 600 and the appropriate refrigerant hoses to evacuate. After the leak test has been successfully completed, after 60 minutes and the nitrogen has been removed from the system, the next step in the commissioning process is evacuation or vacuum extraction. For this, the yellow working hose was connected to the nozzle of the vacuum pump. All shutoff valves are closed. The vacuum pump is switched on. Now, step by step, all working paths are opened away from the vacuum pump towards the system. Now evaporating residual moisture from our pipelines is visible. There is no minimum time period for vacuum extraction of a refrigeration or air conditioning system. Time the vacuum pump needs depends on the ambient environment, such as air temperature and humidity. It also depends on how much residual moisture is in our pipe system and how large it is. In this case, a vacuum has been extracted for approximately 60 minutes and a pressure test can be carried out in the negative pressure area. For this, the shutoff valve on the low pressure side is closed. Now, the vacuum pump can be switched off and disconnected from the working hose. A green flashing LED can now be seen on the row cool. This green flashing LED starts flashing from a vacuum range of minus 0.98 bar. If the pressure remains constantly in this low range, this green flashing LED will stop flashing after 30 minutes and will light up continuously. This means green light to flood the system with refrigerant. Next, use the appropriate Allen key to open the grub screws in the direction of flow. It is important to wear acid-resistant safety gloves and safety goggles when doing this. It is also important to open the grub screws completely as they have a metallic seal. After the grub screws have been completely open, the unit can be switched on and put into operation. During commissioning, make sure that the system runs correctly and that the system data is logged. Before the air conditioning system is switched on, it must also be inspected with an electronic leak detector. During this inspection, all connections and components are inspected. If a leak is detected, the refrigerant must be removed from the circuit, the leak must be repaired, and all previous steps must be carried out again. In another tutorial, we show how to extract refrigerant from the Rorec Pro Digital. Thank you for watching.